I, I will also say that some of these people have educated me along the way. Um, we, we have seen today um, a real spectrum. On the one side, the incredible science, what we're learning and what we don't know, which is a lot more than what we do know, which is a problem. Um, on the other side, uh, many of you are out in the field um, trying to deal with the, the real problem on the ground. Uh, and as has been alluded to several times, it doesn't matter why people are driving impaired, you're not stopping them because you saw them smoking a joint two hours ago. You're stopping them because they're causing, they're, they're, they're at risk on the road and the rest of us um, are worried about that. Uh, we've heard a lot about what we don't know and what we can measure. Um, I, I fear that what we haven't heard enough of um, and we need to continue hearing is what's useful on the field. I hope this information is useful, um, but as I have learned in the past, um, uh, mostly from Jennifer, and I keep teasing her about this, that um, uh, the bright line standard for alcohol is not going to be as useful to you uh, and some of the testing that we're talking about is going to be very difficult to do in the field. We, we need to bring the spectrum together. Uh, we need to try to find out what is the science that is going to help you out there. Uh, and of course, we need to be able to do the research that puts all this together. Right now, it's sort of a top down uh, and at the bottom on the ground, you're still trying to deal with this. If you're a defense attorney, you're thinking, um, how can I defeat these numbers? And I'm sure that's a lot of the calls that Marilyn gets. And if you're a prosecutor, you are thinking the other way around, are these numbers useful? Uh, and I would submit to you as a lawyer, a litigator, not a criminal lawyer, um, that the fact that there is a measurable bright standard is a reason there is more alcohol convictions because people understand that. Part of, the, part of that, of course, is just education of the community. And as our panel panelists have said several times, uh, we have, don't have enough education as to um, uh, in the community as to what is dangerous, what is not dangerous. We've had plenty of education as to alcohol. All this goes to say that we have a lot of work to do. Um, it's great to try to work together. The whole purpose of the center is to reach solutions, to have science uh, come together with policy. Often, even when we have good science, uh, it's hard to translate that into good policy. Too much policy is based on ideology and emotion. So we're trying to overcome that. With cannabis, it's hard even to do the good research to get to the policy. But we're working towards it. I appreciate you coming on behalf of all of us, uh, and we will get there. Thanks a lot. Thank you.